Welcome to China Connect. Your fun guide to real China. Explore and uncover its intriguing stories. Let's go. Today, we're talking about China and its economic trends. So, buckle up, brothers, because this is going to be a wild ride. In an effort to boost market confidence, especially for the private sector, the Ministry of Finance and State Taxation Administration have pulled a UNO reverse card on the tax man. They've issued a tax cut package, releasing six announcements with a load of tax and fee relief measures benefiting SMEs, individual businesses, venture capital, farmers, and more. It's like they've hit a power up in Mario Kart, and they're sharing the boost with everyone. So, what's in this package? First off, VAT exemption for small-scale taxpayers has been extended to 2027, that's like getting an extra life in a video game, but instead of a pixelated heart, it's more money in your pocket. And, the personal income tax for some individual businesses, it's been halved. It's like they've leveled up and unlocked a perk that gives them extra gold, there's a lot more as well. The scope of income tax reductions for individual businesses has been expanded. And the Ministry of Industry and Information Technology, Central Bank and other authorities have introduced measures to provide more financing support for SMEs. It's like they're on a quest and they've just found a treasure chest full of gold coins and magical items. Now, let's head to the Politburo meeting late last month. For those who are not in the know, the Politburo is not a bureau full of politicians. It's the principal policymaking committee of a communist party. It's like the High Council in a fantasy game, where all the big decisions are made. The meeting pointed out the need to continue, optimize, improve, and implement tax and fee reduction policies well. They also discussed follow-up arrangements for temporary policies expiring this year and next. Now, this extension is a big deal. It covers many areas and items, with a long duration, which is significant for stabilizing enterprise expectations, boosting confidence, and making investment and operations plans. It's like casting a long-lasting protection spell on the economy, keeping it safe and sound from the big bad wolves of uncertainty and instability. The newly announced tax and fee relief policies are like powerful spells being cast on the economic battlefield. They involve major taxes like income tax and VAT. We're talking reductions in income tax for small, micro-enterprises and individual businesses, VAT relief for small-scale taxpayers, local reductions in six types of taxes and two types of fees, as well as tax incentives related to inclusive finance and venture capital investment in startups. It's like they've unlocked a special combo move that makes them invincible on the battlefield. These policies will be in effect until the end of 2027. Notably, policies like VAT relief for small-scale taxpayers and income tax reductions for small and micro-enterprises, as well as individual businesses, which were introduced during the pandemic and originally set to expire at the end of 2022 have been extended by the State Council to the end of 2023 earlier this year, and are now further prolonged for another four years, until the end of 2027. It's like they've found a time-turner like in Harry Potter, and have turned back the clock. Giving themselves more time to fight the battle, the Ministry of Finance announcements show that the VAT relief policy for small-scale taxpayers has been extended to the end of 2027. Small-scale VAT pairs with monthly sales below 100,000 renminbi are exempt from VAT, and the tax rate for generally taxable sales revenue of 3% is reduced to 1%. It's like they found a cheat code that reduces the damage they take in battle. For the income tax reduction policy for individual businesses, not only has the expiry date been postponed to the end of 2027, but the scale has also increased. The previous policy halved income tax on the portion of annual taxable income not exceeding 1 million renminbi based on existing preferential policies. This time, the annual taxable income threshold eligible for a 50% reduction has been raised to not exceeding 2 million renminbi. 
It's like they've leveled up and unlocked a more powerful version of the same spell. In addition, the Ministry of Finance and State Taxation Administration have also explicitly extended a number of inclusive finance tax policies originally set to expire at the end of 2022 to the end of 2027. This includes pre-tax deduction policies for loan loss provisions of small and micro financial institutions and venture capital investment enterprises. It's like they've found a hidden stash of potions and they're using it to keep their health and magic levels high, also. They've introduced new tax incentives for venture capital investment in startups. Venture capital firms that invest in startups in the seed and startup stages for more than two years will be able to deduct 70% of the investment amount for corporate income tax purposes within the investment period. It's like they've earned a special bonus for completing a difficult quest. So, what does all this mean? Well, brothers, it's like China has hit a power-up in a video game. They are boosting their economy, giving bonuses to small businesses, and casting powerful spells to protect and strengthen their economic battlefield. It's a bold move, and it's going to be interesting to see how it plays out. Thanks for joining our China journey. Like, comment, share and subscribe for more. Drop your questions or ideas below. Let's keep exploring this fascinating nation together. See you in the next video.